Savage Sports Fan. Please like, share, subscribe with a new channel. Hit the bell notification, share a video, uh, drop a comment. Let's get right into it. Listen, Colorado, Colorado, Coach Prime, Shador Sanders, uh, Travis Hunter, it's all in the place to be, but they not from NYC. Listen, I think people need to get their mind wrapped around the fact that Colorado is going more than likely to the playoffs. If they went out, if they go 10 and 2, if they go 10 and 2 now, hear me out. I mean, this is a stretch, but let's just keep it real. Coach Prime brings in eyeballs. Colorado, I said it a year ago, is everybody's Super Bowl. They're bringing a lot of eyeballs. The teams they play on the other side, it allows them, by the eyeballs being on Colorado, it allows the other team, their star recruits, to get some of that sunshine too. So why not have Colorado in the playoffs? It is it's gonna be controversial. I mean, you know, 10 and 2 team, um, year two, even listen, even if they eight and four. I mean, it's gonna be hard. Listen, we gotta just look at this from a financial perspective. You know, the country's not doing great, companies are not going great. They wanna they want to put things on TV that people will watch. This is what a TV executive told me a week ago. He was like, listen here, man, we put things on television that people watch. If we see it on a different station and people watching it, we're gonna get our own version. This is why you see the same programming on TV over and over again. They put t things on TV that people watch. This is why you see uh, Colorado football in primetime late night games, because they're saving the jobs for a lot of these executives. They bringing in ratings. They're doing better than a lot of these other um, well-produced shows to get no ratings so a 10 and 2 colorado team in the playoffs brings eyeballs brings money and do not be shocked if it's 10 and 2 8 and 4 colorado is going to more than likely be in the playoffs so this would be an amazing story think about it travis hunter heisman trophy winner Shadour Sanders, very top draft draft pick. He's gonna be my, end up in Miami somewhere. Shiloh, Shiloh Sanders, he might get a look on a team that you know he's Deion Sanders' son. He might be on a practice squad somewhere. Um, and Coach Prime is going to be on the radar of every single head coaching job out there. Because think about it. his son is gone. He did the unthinkable. This was a team that won one one victory a few a few seasons ago. In his year, second year, he's got Colorado buzzing all over the place. All the fans, all the eyeballs. The Rock was there. People failed to realize The Rock was in Boulder, Colorado, not to shoot a movie last year, but to go to the University of Colorado, and they got pictures with their jerseys on. You don't think The Rock's photos are in the hallways of some of these ADs? You don't think that? This helps all of them. I mean, if you just look at all the celebrities who have been to and from, I think Troy Aikman was out there. I mean, everybody came out to Colorado. They have not seen anything like this. So do not be surprised if all these other all these other uh, universities make a, a, a strong push in trying to get Dion because he has the magic touch. And it's all about the business. It's all about the business, all about the money, man. Listen, I told you uh, a week ago, Deion Sanders is like a $300 million coach. He's like a walking Super Bowl. He's like a walking Powerball. So it's just like, at the end of the day, it's just all business. I mean, I hate to just call it the way it is. It's just all business. So I know um, they got some tough games coming up, BYU. I think Oklahoma State. They got some. They got some games coming up against some undefeated teams. These are going to be some tough tests. Um, one might argue that Colorado has played the hardest teams already, so they've already been tested. Even when they had injuries, they barely lost that game. So one can argue that um, these are not going to be easy victories. But these are very, very winnable games against these undefeated teams. So, eight and four, ten and two. If they win out, if they do the reverse of what they did last year, because remember, they lost all their games. They lost like six straight games or something like that. So, if they can do a reversal and just win out, 
win out shut all the haters up all those haters at espn espn will have no choice but to hold their nose bite their tongue and get that big check with colorado being in the, in the playoffs in the college football playoffs so they just have to deal with the controversy you just got to deal with the fallout who cares you get the money man take the money take the money you i don't know if you will ever see anything else like this to go from last to first so quickly to build a program so quickly to get even though we live in a fast food society where people forget things pretty quickly who knows what next year might look like but right near right now you ride the hot hand so you ride the hot hand and that is if they went out go ahead and reward them truth be told if Colorado would have won two two more games last year <laughs> and they had six wins, somebody would have found some bowl or something to get them to. Because it's about the money. It's about the money. It's about the money. It's about the ratings. So congratulations to Coach Prime. Um, it's, tra it's the Travis Hunter. At this point now, it's the Travis Hunter, sh Hunter show. He's going to win that, uh, that Heisman and he needs to stay healthy. Um, he is just rock star, bro. Rock star. This is rock star. Would he be getting this same type of publicity if he stayed at Jackson State? You know, Coach Prime went on, left Jackson State, brought his brought his sons with him. But if Travis Hunter would have stayed at Jackson State, would he have still gotten? I think he still would have been balling out crazy. But uh, but the cameras would the cameras still be following him in Jackson State? What have we heard about Jackson State? You guys drop a comment. What's their record? What are they doing? Um, what are the old coaches are doing? All the coaches that walked away and said, you know, this program's going nowhere. Um, this is a good football team. They're playing defense. Um, Shador is looking better and better. They this is a really good football team. It's it's that this is a solid football team. Let's just keep it real. This is a solid, and they're gonna get better. It's a really solid football team. He put a Coach Prime put a really tight staff together. I mean, it's a learning curve in anything you do. His first year, he had to, you know, you know, figure out his coaches, learn his coaches. They got to learn each other just like the players do. So now, year two, um, this is a solid, solid football team. And I told you, Warren Sapp, the NFL, you think they run into Deion Sanders. If they think Deion Sanders is, is going to go to a different program, or maybe go to the pros with his sons. All these other coaches are coming after his coaches. You know, his position coaches are going to get looks from everybody. in Warren Sapp, Mr. QB killer himself, is going to get a lot of looks from the NFL. You heard it here from Savage Sports Fan. I'm telling you. Shout out to Warren Sapp. Shout out to the U. Shout out to them Florida boys. Shout out out there. You know, Warren Sapp. Shout out to Simeon Rice. I say, Simeon, you need to get back up in the NFL. Anybody listening to this, tag Simeon Rice. Warren, I mean, Colorado, Simeon Rice. Somebody needs to get Simeon Rice a job. Simeon Rice is too good of uh, a uh, uh, defensive end out there for him not to be coaching. When I see Simeon, I'm going to scream at him. I'm going to say, listen, bro, your boy Warren Sapp is making it happen in Colorado. Why ain't you out there with him, bro? Uh-uh. We, we can't have Simeon Rice out here. Not in the NFL, not in the Hall of Fame, and and, and and just sitting around with all that knowledge that he got. Nah, bruh. So shout out to Warren Shop Sap. Shout out, shout out to uh Colorado. And uh drop a comment. I'm curious to think. How many wins do you think Colorado gonna end up with? Or would it be wrong for ESPN to put them in the, you know, college football playoffs? You know, drop that comment. I'm here curious to hear your thoughts, but as of right now. Coach Prime is all about the money. He's all he bring the eyeballs and all about the money. So I'm not mad at him. Um, the housekeeping uh, for the day is um, I don't think we're gonna talk about the Chicago Bears anymore. That that loss yesterday. We were actually gonna go to the next game of Chicago, and I just I just can't do it. I just can't get myself. That so much was a heartbreaking loss to lose on a hail mary like that. That was insanely disgusting. That's just it's hard to even talk football. The one bright spot for everybody is uh Colorado football. They can just take the 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 line light away from the pro game. Because the pro game, they are playing horrible out there, bruh. 
These are professional football players. They don't even look like they care. You know, that Cowboys game and what's going on with the Jets. I ain't. <laughs> anyway, Savage Sports fan, thank you for all the new subscribers. Share a video, drop a comment. Uh, let us know. Would ESPN be wrong for putting Colorado in the playoffs? And 8 and 4, 10 and 2, I'm not mad at it. Until next time, I'm out.